हेलो गाइज आई होप यू आर डूइंग रियली रियली वेल सो गाइज सैमसंग गैलेक्सी टैब एस नाइन एफ ई हैज़ गॉट वन यू आई सिक्स अपडेट एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू ट्वेंटी फोर न्यू फीचर्स फॉर दिस अपडेट सो लेट स्टार्ट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल शो यू हाउ टू अपडेट दिस सॉफ्टवेयर सो गो टू सेटिंग्स वंस यू इंटर इन टू दी सेटिंग्स जस्ट स्क्रोल डाउन एंड हेयर यू सी दिस ऑप्शन ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर अपडेट सो यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट दिस ऑप्शन एंड हेयर ऑन राइट साइड यू सी द वेरी फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज अबाउट डाउनलोड एंड इंस्टॉल सो यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट दिस ऑप्शन एंड हेयर यू कैन सी न्यू सॉफ्टवेयर इज अवेलेबल एंड हेयर यू सी द अपडेट इंफॉर्मेशन सो इट इज वन यू आई वर्जन सिक्स पॉइंट ओ and here it is showing you the size so the size is 2085.17 mb and security patch level is 1 november 2023 so i will select this download option and then it will take a few minutes for complete installation the first feature is about new samsung dex so if i bring down this quick panel and then i select this dex from here so in new samsung dex you have these widgets also available you can also use the new samsung dex in portrait mode as well so here you have your taskbar you have your widgets and you also have your apps available you can open multiple apps you can resize the apps for example here you can see i can open multiple apps i can also easily resize them i can change their position as well the next thing is switching to the tablet mode is also very fast if i want to go back to the tablet mode again i will bring down this quick panel and then i will turn off the dex from here now it will go back to the normal tablet mode and the apps that you open in samsung dex they are still open and you can continue your work in the tablet mode the next thing is you can also use the classic dex as well bring down this quick panel and press and hold this dex from here and here you see you have this classic dex option also available so you can select it from here and then select this start dex now it will open the samsung dex classic mode where you have your apps available on this side and here at the bottom you have taskbar The next feature is about new quick panel layout. So if I bring down this quick panel here you can see we have these seven main toggles and then if I scroll it down again here you can see everything is organized in blocks. So on top we have these connection setting toggles. Here we have this main block with all other quick setting toggles and here we have this brightness slider with eye comfort shield and dark mode option and at bottom we have this section for smart view and device control you can customize all this quick panel layout so select this pen icon from here and then from here you can do all the customization for quick panel layout the next feature is about auto scanning and auto capture of the document for example i want to capture this document so i will turn on the camera now it will automatically scan this document i don't have to press any button so here you can see now it is scanning and it also capture it for me so here you can see this is the final document now if i select this save option it will remove any unwanted object and here is the final result so to enable this auto scan option just turn on the camera then go to settings so select this settings icon and then here you see the second option is about scan documents and text so you have to select this option and here you see this option of auto scan so you have to enable it from here the next feature is about new camera widget if i press and hold the home screen then i select the widgets and then here you see we have this new camera widget and then i will select it from here and then i select this add option it will open the widget settings and from here you can customize the camera settings for example i select this starting mode and then i select this front camera and then i will go back and then i will save it so a new camera widget added to my screen now if i tap on this camera widget it will open the front camera with the same settings so you can create multiple camera widgets for example here i create this dedicated screen for this camera widget with different camera settings and different backgrounds so i can easily access them 
The next feature is about new weather widget. So if I press and hold the home screen, then I select the widgets and then from here I will scroll down and here you see this weather widget. So I will select it and then from here you scroll down and you see this new weather insights widget. So I select it and then I will add it. So here you have this new weather widget with more insights. If you tap on this weather widget, it will give you more information. So if you scroll down here, you can see we have this new sunrise and sunset information and then we have this moon phases information available in this new weather widget. One more thing I want to mention here below this video, you see this like button. If you press it like this, it will change its color. You can try this experiment. The next feature is about background play. For example, you open your Samsung internet browser and here you open YouTube and you play some kind of video. Now you open another tab. So your video will still play at the background and you can listen to the sound of that video. Even if you leave the internet browser, your video will still play at the background. So how to enable this option? Just select this tools option from here, then go to settings. Once you enter into the settings, just scroll down and here you see this option of useful features. So select this option and here you see this option of background play. So you have to select it and then you can turn it on from here. The next feature is about multitasking. For example, you open an app in pop up view and you start working on this app. Now you open the recent apps and then from here you open another app. For example, I open this weather app. So the previous app that I open in pop up view will still appear and I can continue my work on this app. The next feature is about new magnifier tool. For example, I open a website and here I want to use the screen clipper. So I will take out this edge panel, then I will select this rectangle and then it will open the screen clipper. And now, for example, if I start selecting it here, you see a new magnifier tool is now available. So this will be helpful to start and end your selection at perfect spot. For example, I will select it till here, then I press done and then then I can use this image. Same way you can also use it for smart select tool. The next feature is about new lock screen option. So if I lock my tablet and then I will press and hold this lock screen and then I will select this clock. So now you can move your clock in the lock screen. So for example, if I want to move it here, I can move it like this. I can move it on top and then I can move it on this side and then I can move it down as well. So whichever position you like, you can move your clock. And then once you finish, you can select this done option. The next feature is about copy edits. For example, I open one image and now I want to edit this image. So I will select this edit option. And now, for example, I will change the filter for this image and I will turn it into grayscale and then I will save it. Now the next thing is I will select these three dots and from here I select this new option of copy edits. Now I will go back and then I can apply this edit to all these images. So what I have to do, I will start selecting. So I will select all of these images. So I will select it till here. Now I will select these three dots and here is the option of paste edits. So I will select this paste edits option. Now all of these images will turn into the grayscale according to this image. So we just have to wait for a few seconds. So here you can see all the images are now grayscale. So you can edit one image and then you can apply those edits to all other images in your gallery. The next feature is about revert to original. For example, I just added this image. Now I want this image to revert back to the original mode. I select these three dots and here you see this new option of revert to original. So you can select it from here and now this image will move back to its original mode. The next feature is about saving an object as sticker. For example, you open this image and now you want this object to save as sticker. So use your S Pen and then press and hold on this object. And here you see a new option of save as sticker. So you can select this option. Now you can use this sticker. For example, I open the Samsung notes and then here I will select this keyboard and then here you can select this emoji icon. And then from here you see this option of sticker. So here you can see the sticker is 
now available here you can select it from here and now you can use it in your notes you can also use this sticker in your messages as well the next feature is about new studio app so if you open the search bar and then from here you can search for studio so you will write here studio and here is the studio app so you can open this app and you can use this app for video editing and here inside this app we have different tools available so you can use these tools for video editing it also has its own soundtrack option so if you select this icon from here it will open the soundtracks and then from here you can select different soundtracks and here at the bottom you have different categories also available for soundtracks you can also change the aspect ratio if you select these three dots and then select this project settings so here you have different aspect ratios available so you can go for this option as well the next feature is about advanced flight mode so if you bring down this quick panel and now you turn on the flight mode and now you also turn on the wi-fi and then you turn off the flight mode okay and then you turn it on again so once you turn it on it will still remember your wi-fi the next feature is about new condition added to modes and routines so i will open the settings and then i select modes and routines and then from here you can select any mode for example i select this study mode and then from here you see this option of turn on automatically so i will select this option and here you see this option of add condition so i will select this add condition and then you have to scroll down and you will see a new option of media is being played so you can select this option and then from here you can select any media for example i select spotify and then i press done and then i press done from here and then i will go out of these modes and routines now for example i will play this media on spotify the study mode will turn on automatically with all its settings so here you can see everything will change into grayscale and restrictions apply to some apps now for example if i pause this media it will go back to the normal tablet mode so this is really really amazing the next feature is about space game so just go to settings and here you see this option of about tablet and inside about tablet you see the option of software information and here you see this option of android version 14 so if you just tap it few times like this it will open this android 14 screen if you tap and hold it on this icon it will open the space game so we just have to wait for few seconds and here your space game is open Open and now you can play this game the next feature is about auto blocker so just go to settings and then from here you can scroll down and here you see this option of security and privacy so you can select this option and once you inside the security and privacy you have to scroll down and here you see a new option of auto blocker so you can select this option and then you can turn on this auto blocker so auto blocker keeps your tablet safe by blocking threats and other suspicious activity it also blocks apps from unauthorized sources it turns on app security checks and it blocks commands by usb cable the next feature is about new battery settings menu so just go to settings and then if you scroll down here you see a new battery settings menu so here you can see the top level battery settings in separate new menu you can see the battery usage and manage battery settings from here the next feature is about accessibility so just go to settings and then scroll down and here you see this option of accessibility so once you go inside accessibility here you see this option of vn enhancements so just select this option and then here you see the option of magnification so you can select this option and then here you see this magnification type so now you can switch between partial screen full screen or you can select this option of allow switching between partial and full screen you can also change the cursor thickness inside accessibility so just go back from here and then go back again and here you see the option of cursor thickness so you can select this option and then from here you can change the cursor thickness and this is how your cursor will look like the next feature is about calendar app so if you open the calendar app here you see a new schedule view so it provides you upcoming events 
tasks and reminders all together you can also see this new reminder option so you can use your reminder inside the calendar without using the reminder app the next feature is about extraction of text from a pinned content for example i open this website now i open the smart select tool and now for example i want to select uh, this part of the website now i will pin it to my screen so here is the pin option now for example if i go back from here and now i want to extract text from this pinned content so i will just use my pen then i will select it like this and here you see a new option of t so you can select it once you select it it will highlight all the text from this pinned content you can select it using your pen so for example if i select it like this and then you can also copy it and then you can share it as well the next thing is you can also resize your pin so now you can use your pen and then you can resize your pin to any size so for example if i want to make it small i can easily make it small if i want to make it bigger i can also make it bigger and i can move it anywhere on my screen the next feature is related to reminders so if i open the reminder and here you see a new category of place added to reminder so now it will alert you when you are in a specific place the next thing is you can also use the camera when you are creating a reminder so here is the plus icon if you select it here you see a new icon of camera is now added so you can select it so you can take a picture and you can add it to your reminder the next feature is about smart suggestion widget so if i press and hold the home screen then i select this widget and then here is the smart suggestion widget and then i will select and then i will add it so now you can make changes to your smart suggestion widget so you have to press and hold it like this and then select this settings option once you go inside the settings now you can change the transparency of your smart suggestion widget and you can also exclude the apps from smart suggestion the next feature is about digital well-being so if you open this digital well-being widget so now you can have weekly reports it will show you your peak usage time and how you can balance screen time so guys this is for today's video please subscribe to my channel thank you very much